Hello, I'm Seth Clevenger, Technology Editor at Transport Topics, and I'm joined here at the Mid-America Trucking Show with Eric Ma, who's the Head of Product at Transfix. And uh, thank you, Eric, for joining us. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure that uh, some of our uh, audience has heard of you guys, but some of them uh, I'm sure have not. So perhaps you can give me a quick overview of what you guys do. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Transfix, we are a digital freight broker, and we are very much focused on creating technologies to dramatically simplify and make the process of connecting carriers and shippers mm -hmm. in a much more automated fashion. So a lot okay. of what we're focused on is making, finding, and booking loads as simple as possible. Okay. So I know you guys are among the companies that are often kind of lumped into <laughs> this trend, this uh, category that's sort of being described as the, you know, the Ubers of trucking and the Uberization of trucking. So I want to get your thoughts on that term. Uh, you know, how does it apply? How doesn't it apply? Right. Uh, do you like it, not like it? And uh, uh, what do you see happening out there in the market in, in relation to that? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, it's a very, you know, loaded term. Um, I think that for us, what we really think about is kind of what did change in the taxi industry. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that was just how technology just dramatically, again, made things more efficient when connecting the consumer with uh, the driver themselves. Yep. And I think that for us, that's a, there's a lot of analogous kind of um, opportunities from the brokerage space. And okay. so we're very focused on helping our drivers, our carriers, find freight in the most effective, consistent manner possible, make it very transparent, very simple to actually just run their business and not have to worry about, you know, where will I find my next load or anything like that. Okay. Um, of course, beyond that, there are a lot of times when that analogy starts breaking down, right? Sure. Obviously, somebody's not on their phone looking to move freight, you know, across right. the country last second or anything like right. that, but yeah. yeah. Some added complexity, of course, with commercial transportation compared right, to, right, to ride right, sharing. Right. Um, but could you maybe uh, give us a profile of a typical Transfix customer? Uh, who are some of the, you know, I guess, companies that you guys typically work with? So a lot of um, our customers can range from people who are actually retailers and yep. need to um, sell and move freight from distribution centers out to their stores, mm -hmm. or it may be individuals who do, that do not actually have retail stores themselves. Right but are trying to move um, you know, their goods to whichever appropriate customer might. And a lot of our ways of working with them just, again, involves their different needs, figuring out how we can actually help their supply chains and those various aspects of needs, and then connecting it with all the different carriers in our network. Okay. And uh, of course, when you look at you know, the established um, you know, third-party logistics market out there, some of the large players, the large freight brokers, uh, of course, also have embraced technology, are using uh, technology as a uh, you know, differentiator in their market. And uh, examples are you know, CH Robinson, XPO Logistics, uh, Echo Global Logistics, um, you know, Total Quality Logistics, just to name you know, yep. several there. Uh, so they're, they're also using technology to kind of you know, automate the freight transaction process. Um, but at the same time, of course, there are many others, you know, freight brokerages right. out there who still rely heavily on manual phone calls. Yep. Um, you know, could you maybe contrast what you guys do with what some of the large 3PLs are doing and, and uh, you know, how do you compare? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think that what's been really exciting to see is just how much technology is really transforming this industry, just mm -hmm. the way that everybody is trying to use it to make their own internal processes more efficient. I think that the big difference for us is that from you know day one or day zero, technology has been in our DNA. So yeah. everything that we're building is using a technology first standpoint. And you know, you spoke about how so much is still reliant on phone calls and mm -hmm. those different things. I think for us, we're constantly thinking, do we actually need to even add a phone call to our process versus how do we remove the phone call out of the traditional process? Right. Mm -hmm. And so instead, we're actually defaulting to figuring out where does tech yeah. step in, automate a lot of the processes, reduce yep. a lot of the time that our company doesn't need to spend, sure. and then pass along those you know, efficiencies and savings onto our customers and onto our carriers. Okay. And how far can we go with automation? You know, because uh, we, we, you look for the opportunities to, to do things more easily, yep. you know, look for opportunities for technology to streamline the process. 
uh, what role does the traditional human uh, you know, freight broker have in this? Uh, is, is there still a, a, a role for that? Yep. Uh, what do you see in the, in the future? So we believe that there's definitely always going to be a requirement for, you know, a human to be involved right. um, just for, you know, understanding the customized needs of customers, mm -hmm. of carriers, and to maintain those relationships. Yep. What we really think that will slowly move away, or maybe not so slowly, are all of the things that can be removed and be just automated and done in a much more efficient manner. Again, removing the matching that traditionally is done in a more somebody connecting two different right. you know individuals together all of that we think can be automated away and then our team gets to focus more on again the human touches the, yeah, the relationships right. understanding how can we help a business how can we help a carrier and just really you know grow with them you got it well, great. Well, thank you very much for the time, Eric. Uh, yeah. Fascinating stuff. And it'll be fun to watch companies like yours uh, uh, continue to make inroads in the industry. And uh, we'll, we'll continue to watch uh, uh, with, with great interest. So thanks again for your time. Well, thank you. Yep.